Welcome to the most anticipated night in the history of Hustler Casino Live. I'm Lon McCarran along with Norman Chad. And tonight, the man standing up on the left, your guy, Norman, makes his debut here at Hustler Casino Live. What a lineup we've got. He appears to be talking. And standing. Anyway, you've been looking at the lineup as Ryan has put it together all week long on Twitter. The anticipation, the storylines, uh, the regulars, Phil's regulars. Uh, it, it's going to be a fun night here. and I'm, I'm really glad that uh, they invited us back. And uh, one of Phil's regulars is not Mickey, who will be seated in sit seat one next to Phil. That is a clash of cultures. Mickey meeting the poker brat. And uh, that's what a lot of the Twitter heads have been talking about. You know, five high, Mickey, professional gambler. Uh, barred uh, anywhere in Las Vegas that you want to uh, roll the dice or, or count the, <laughs> the uh, blackjack cards coming out. Uh, Mickey is a very entertaining player and has been for quite a while. And next to him, the poker brat, 16-time World Series of Poker bracelet winner, Phil Helmuth. He's got a roll of $5 bills there. That's pretty impressive, Phil. <laughs> Phil, uh, of course, uh, has been a busy boy, been playing... A lot of poker recently, making a lot of final tables. Uh, all you got to do is follow him on Twitter, and you know exactly what Phil Helmuth is up to. It came five, six, ten, and you decided to play. And he's telling a bad beat story already. Positivity. You have big balls. I'll give you that. Good luck today. This guy Ben. Ben, I gave way too much money to, but he's giving it back. Ben, too much action. These are some of my online players here. Wesley. Wesley's been a little bit down. He had some nice days, but you quit the app. You quit our app game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't play that. <laughs> and the, too many bad beats on the app. Yeah. Most of them me. And Auto has held over me for like a year and a half. It's, been, it's so sick. He's the but village idiot. He's right? the village idiot over there. I, did call I just him, simply say I play the player, not the player. I did call him That's the village it. idiot, and people think we hate each other because of that. We don't hate each other. He just gave my friend, my parents floor seats for the Milwaukee Bucks Chicago game. Which, you know. Cheers. I was, was ready for that. Game, huh? But if he cheers, puts a beat cheers. on me, I'm still going to call him the village of the end. <laughs> and by the way, this might be the last time you hear me and Norman tonight. So we just want to say good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us and let Phil take the show. So we're glad you joined us. Uh, you guys talked about it on, on Twitter and you'll be, you've been talking about it on the chat. Uh, and it's an honor for you guys to feel like uh, we're bringing something special. And uh, we've always uh, felt that. Norman and I are very humbled by uh, you folks out there who... Uh, tell us uh, how much you love us, and for the folks who hate us, screw you, and move on to the next game. Did I say that? Did that come out uh, verbally? Yeah, under no, no alcoholic influence. <laughs> I have a meat buzz going on right now. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be uh, a lot of fun, and it's a lot about, you know, what Phil brings to the game, and, and Phil is like the sun with the uh, with the eight other planets going on out there because you know there's only eight other planets right now and we've got the sun and eight other players so how about that analogy right off the bat very nice yeah bill's in the hand with queen four but it's suited <laughs> and ben does not have pocket nine so it's a whole different hand <laughs> Wow. Flush draw, Phil. Shoves it all. Oh, he has ace high, yes. king high. Oh, my God. Give me the money. Give me the money. Only 3,200. 3,200 on top. 3,200 on top. Phil's behind right now. Can we start a GoFundMe so you can bad beat him nope. on this? <laughs> <laughs> nice end, Phil. Hey, I'll, g I'll give you... All right, I'll, I'll tell you this. Ahead. What the fuck do you think I have? Uh, queen four. I, I don't care what you have. There's a queen ten, four. Eight, ten, there's a queen four. Ace ten. Four six. I think he's got eight, 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 four. Four. Queen four. Four, bitches. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat. Ah, <laughs> in your hand every time that I, when you're betting. Six million views. I kind of just laid it out there that I know exactly what's in your hand. Ryan, is this game on the fucking square? They dealt me queen four. <laughs> and I actually asked you for, asked it's for fucking it. weird. Like, <laughs> is this game on the square? I've never lost on one of Ryan's streams. <laughs> Hey, listen, I, I, from a Jury's guy, that, out, from a guy I blocked a thousand people on Twitter. I blocked three yesterday. Okay. I blocked like seven the day before. Okay. <laughs> These motherfuckers say one negative thing. Block, block.
fuck, fuck, I know. Fuck, I'm I gonna get back, though. I'm coming back. Any negativity, right? Obviously he had a hand. Yeah, Obviously he had a hand. Sonny, like Sonny, I'm a better poker player than you. Oh, I, do, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Wes, I will never argue. The eight players on this table are better than me. What a needle. His needles are so funny. He don't give a fuck. Being better at poker than me is not something to be proud of, to be honest. Like, a first grader is better than me. Tell him King Queen is better than Ace Knight. He doesn't know <laughs> Ben's gonna come along in a small blind with a non-premium hand, and I get I think he does it partially because Phil has raised. Mickey getting a good price to also join in. No threat here to Phil unless someone wants to bluff him eventually. Out of turn three. Seven fifty. Preemptive fold. I hardly made a pair. Also. I mean, that was the worst flop I could have mm -hmm. ever imagined. Show the queen four. No, I. I feel Should like I you're obligated to show the queen four. Show the queen. You're not coming back here anytime soon. It's okay. No, but I kind of like. I'll show it. Bam, boys. I'm Phil Helmuth. Oh, wow. <laughs> Came ace king, right? I mean, like jack high. I stacked Ben. I don't know why they like throwing whatever. I would go see a BAM boys on Phil Helmuth one man Sonny, they begged me to musical come to games. with yeah, him I rapping. It, you would, you because would go? Because I, I am a nice guy. So that's just for the, you know, it's, it's just watching an accident in progress. Blessed. Way up. I feel blessed. You're good at that. That's why he's a goat, man. Well, I I, uh, I host a lot of charity events, yeah. mm. and so like 15 years ago, I just started rapping on the mic. Oh. Mm -hmm. and people loved it. Like, right. uh, okay, Phil. People are very critical. Well, that that one is good for me. The way up, bathroom. that one I can. I bet you Norman's on the stream. I bet you remembers in Fort Lauderdale when you were going around America. America, America, America. 50-50. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, I love Phil. And he does as much charity work as anyone, and he works hard. The blue bear still connects on a low on a yacht. But his got a triple deck, but I'm young. What the contention that his rapping and singing is appreciated by everybody at these events. Grand close. His numbers a little off. I'm not good at that one, but at least I know the words. I know that one. So Jerry, Jerry and I had uh, Jerry, Jerry, uh, Jerry was always surrounded by beautiful, beautiful women. women. Always. So yeah. I went to Lakers training camp. It was Shaq was there, okay. uh, and I remember getting out of the elevator and there's. I get out of the elevator, and I start walking, and I felt like there's a mountain next right to me, and I'm like, and I look over, and it's like I Shaq's biceps, and I'm a tall guy. It's a big man. But Jerry, Jerry would have us go. So now we're playing in the in the honeymoon suite in Kapalua at Lakers training camp. Okay. He's letting us go to the team dinners during training camp. It's crazy. Okay. okay. And uh, and uh, we're playing high stakes poker in a suite, of yeah, which I, I lost a lot of money. But I bought him his. I sent him a case of his favorite alcohol. Yeah. And he gave he gave us floor seats every day. <laughs> and I think I lost. A fair amount of money, but he was an excellent limit holding player, and he was just clobbering me. Jerry bust that trip, okay. and I considered myself the best limit holding player in the world. In the world, okay. and he just clobbered me. The best. Uh, <laughs> you didn't want to hear the Jerry Bus story? Okay. I do, because I love Jerry Bus. Yeah. He doesn't even know who Jerry Bus is. I'm just kidding. Oh. Up. He doesn't even know. I, I, I'm Jerry Bus in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm going to check to Sunny. <laughs> Okay. Did he like play Calais okay. tournament? Check, check. Gary Black. He was a beast. Yeah. I've been with him many, many oh. times. Wow. Okay. Two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> no double up for Sonny. Cold. I can't. Yeah. That's all. Pair, small. I don't have a pair. Oh, Here's an ace. Wow. Here's an ace. Here's an ace. Wow. Here's ace ten. Oh, ace eight. Ace ten is a Wow. And anyway, he was an icon. And I won the max. I knew he was big in, in um, poker. Jerry so. played very tight, right? Jerry was a very tight player. Yeah, um, very, very and then, uh, you know, I tried to visit him at the hospital a bunch of times, yes. and the gatekeepers wouldn't let me in. Okay. But Jerry and I had a sp special relationship. Yeah. I'd go sit in the box with him at the forum all the like yeah. 
first to start at the Forum, and he had the worst fucking seats in the house. Here's Jerry Buss. Here's the basket, and he's in the fucking way back in the with Frank Mariani. Yeah. I love those guys. Yeah. And uh, and I and I'd go there and I'd be, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? You have the worst seats in the house. But they said it's the only place in the Forum where you can order alcohol, though. Oh wow. Oh. So we'd have drinks. Yeah, it was that was their line. And each time I'd say, you have the worst fucking seats in the house. But I just love being with them. Yeah. <laughs> and then when he upgraded to the to the to the, the next one, yeah. then I'd sit with him in his box and it was really, really yeah. nice. And uh, yeah. But he always wanted me next to him. I'd say, hey, you want to meet this rock star or that rock star? And he'd say, no, I don't really want to meet him. I'd be like, okay. I'd be like, fuck, because I'd tell my friend, Jerry would like to meet you. <laughs> and then Jerry would say, no, I don't want to meet another new person. I was like, what the fuck? He knew everybody, right? You his called? Boys, uh, do, his yeah. boys, call. do his boys play poker or uh, Genie? Can you get some more wine in the white cloth, please? No, but Jeannie sent a nice tweet to me the other day. I was very proud of her for winning that championship, yeah, you know? Very like proud of her. Like Kicker problems up and down the board. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Woo -hoo -hoo. Show love, show love. I had ace high. That's not a bluff. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Right, okay. but I think that uh, what he had told me once was that he had a little trouble converting it once it's mine hard. wasn't there. It's hard. Man. So what he ended up doing actually Are they talking crypto? was he, sw he switched uh, how he does oh, his comedy. Oh. So what he does now, he's a real background guy, okay. and he's a. Uh, so like Will Smith, for example, is one of his clients, okay. and, uh, and with Maroon Five and you know these big names, and they'll con those people will contact him and say, "How can you take whatever it is that our brand is and yeah. make it relevant in something that's going viral today?" You know, then he'll, let's say, a silly TikTok dance is viral. Yeah, he'll take that dance, but he'll take Will Smith's, you know, brand or whatever, and figure out how can he make it compatible with that, and, yeah. then, and then sell that to. It's just opportunistic. It's not genuine. Yeah. yeah, the internet. These guys are freaking genius. These comics are geniuses. I'm a. I'm more of a. Of a, of a Bill Burr stand-up, an actual physical stand-up comic. I appreciate a person that can get up there Good. and entertain tens of thousands. Mickey's playing, people playing people less than 3,000. Mm. Just uh, a stack of 100 more than anything. chips. Yeah, I mm -hmm. love stand-up. Me too. Yeah. I like Cat Williams so, a lot, Dave Chappelle. Cats, cats. Kevin, of, Clark, of course. Of course, Chappelle's the goat. Earthquake is the funniest guy Jason. telling Jason. Oh, right now to me. Hoping to get lucky. Um, uh, how do I fold this? Anyway, Jesus. How much is it doing? Eight fifty. I ain't doing nothing else. I'll call. Five We're hoping <laughs> Barry does not <laughs> hit the flop. The pot. With Boys. clubs. I like him. See what I mean now? Mm. And mm. in five way action, fills pocket six. Uh -huh. Hold through the flop. Amazing. Pretty good flop for pocket sixes. Unless somebody has a seven. Nobody has a seven! <laughs> Barry with bottom pair. Two big overs for Ben. Oh, now we can talk because they stopped talking. Well, so, hi, Ben! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was looking for some urine from its source, <laughs> the source during our break, and so I have been going across the country. Now, if you're talking to human urine, I know two sources. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to pass. I'm going to go. I'm looking for squirrel. Anyway, in these pots, and we haven't seen a lot of it yet, wherever Phil goes, Ben wants to go as well. Ben wingman. wants to beat Phil. Wingman. Mickey with a I'll gutter. Plus, if he gets an ace, that, that could door, be good. And he's got the ace, yeah. We have backdoor spades, too. No, he says no. Not his night. All right, so two hang around with Phil. Huh. That would have hit... Uh, Mickey's got her. I think so. 3,200. 
Let's get rid of that flush drop. From my comedian friend there. I'm all in. Oh my god. Really? What did I step into? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow. A test for Phil here. Yeah, Barry's been pretty snug this evening. Mm -hmm. what the fuck? Phil knows that. Still a pretty good flop for pocket sixes. Yeah. Five offsuit. All pretty good money. board. Pocket sixes. <laughs> well, that's my game. The ace five folded. Always in a good game, folks at home. I'm always in the best games. <laughs> Why do you think I win 30 million playing poker? <laughs> but it's annoying when they hit the, the weird cards. Like a golfer uh, talking himself into a putt breaking when it's straight. 25, 3, 2, 33, It's always annoying when they have their weird cards. It's more annoying when you get bluffed. And if he does get bluffed here, I hope Barry shows it. You only run it once, right? What was Mike Neal was nodding yes. I believe he Barry was. I believe Barry's in the pot. Could be threes and fours. Threes and fours I can call. Thirty three seventy five. Yeah, Phil getting, what, seven to one here on a call. He wins 30 million a year. Of course, whatever he's talking about, 30 million in his lifetime. All right, all right. Here it comes. It and he puts yeah, it in correctly. Good call. Good call. No, good call. I, I did. Yeah, he's, he's, he's ahead. One time. One time. One time. He's ahead. One time. Take them all. Here, check your hand for nine. Yeah, just make sure. <laughs> Little spuddy Jason. Check for a nine. Yeah. If he had, if he had one more thousand, he wouldn't have you, you had me convinced. Adding five pounds. I was like, eh. Goat. No gamble, no future. 65.70. Yeah, I know. I heard. I mean, Phil's history in the cash game has definitely gotten better. He was much maligned as a cash game player when I first got into this. I think he still is maligned as not playing cash with the highest, with the best oh, players. Who would go there? So, <laughs> I understand that. But his results have gotten better. And even though he still has so much disrespect from the younger players and the GTO guys. His results continue to be strong. And that puts Phil up to the second biggest winner of the night. I felt like once you got involved in the hand, you were going to go in. I knew I was supposed to, but the literal only way to win was a four dice. You know, I give Phil a lot, a lot of crap, but let me again, let's let's run through his credentials if I can. Please. Uh, number one all-time in World Series bracelets with 16. No one else has more than 10. Number two all-time in caches, just behind Daniel Negreanu. Phil's number one in all time in final tables of the World Series, 68. Nobody is close to him. He's number one in runner up finishes at the World Series, 13. Negrano's next with 10. He's the only person ever to win the World Series main event and World Series Europe main event. He's in the Poker Hall of Fame. He's made 68 final tables, as I told you. 29 of those times, he's first or second. Wow. That's pretty remarkable. Like 40% of the time he makes a final table, he finishes and first that was just last second. year. <laughs> yeah. So last year, he set the all-time record of seven World Series final tables, including a bracelet and two runners-up. Uh, three of his last five bracelets are in non-hold'em events. 
two in Raz, one in Juice and Seven single. That was a goal of his for several years. Yeah. And here's another stat that people I, I didn't realize for years because we just think of Phil as a one trick pony, and I've been talking about this the last few years. 68 World Series final tables. 48 of those final tables are in non no limit hold'em events. Some of the best calls in poker history and folds when they go viral, yeah. all the pros are like, that's incredible. Yeah. And the amateurs are like, oh no, I could have folded that. <laughs> and you just know that 10,000 amateurs out of 10,000. Does everyone who walks up to Phil, call. who's an amateur because or a fan, exactly have that accent? See the whole he has done, like, everybody's been south of the Mason Dixon line. I'm not sure if it's Texas or Arkansas or Mississippi. Yeah. I think you're going but, further south. But, it's yeah. just incre uh, where does that come from? Yeah. What up, everybody? You live at the Hudson Casino. Came through, got a little hour up in there, but I'm about to whoop some ass. You know how we do it, put the pressure on them. If it helps me if they ready, if I ain't ready, none of these cats ain't ready. Yeah, live, Hudson Casino, let's get it. Been U.S. Open poker tournaments every day. Richard coming in pretty soon. Uh, I don't know, Richard. Richard just told us everything we think that we need to know. He's coming in hot. Yep, I like it. There was a tournament every day the last 12 days. A fun one. Yeah, you want? He'll be sitting down in the nine seat that Fora occupied for about half the night. Fifteen hundred. Richard seems like someone who's going to uh, kind of goose goose the table a little bit, maybe. Though if he follows up on that speech. No. So far, but the, the chat loves Richard. They know Richard. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he's going to be scrappy. Good. Huh? All right. Okay, I love the, it. The the straddle has not caused the bevy of activity yet. And I haven't seen a double straddle, have you? Uh, tonight, no. Since the optional straddle came in. Okay. Is she behind me? Thank you. I shouldn't, I shouldn't give you shit. Check her out. White claws in the chat. Yeah. Pro golfer Joel Dahman. Big white claw fan. How does he do that? Yeah. Phil trying to string along Barry and Sonny if he can, but there's just nothing behind him. Uh, the club goes away. Sonny, 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 setting it Sonny up. what are you doing? He's set setting up for it up. bluff? Of course. I hope I get lucky in the river. He tried that against Mike. The club won't even work. Yeah, that's the worst card of the deck. Check. Check. Somebody just said Phil is playing risk adverse. That's a positive spin to sitting in your chair as if you're napping for three hours. Let's try to milk him for a little more. That's, okay, that's a real bet. Hold your hand. Hold your hand. Hold your hand. Hold Sonny's only path to this pot is to check raise all in. And I don't think Phil will be as quick as we saw Jason earlier with the snap call on Wesley. But Phil has nothing to think about. Where's all the good players at? If he were to check Ray's all in here. He wants to get Phil. He does. It's a horrendous spot to get Phil. He can't get Phil. 
Okay. Yeah, really ran the board really ran out poorly for Sonny. He has seven two suited. But the wrong suits came up there. Otherwise he'd have the nuts. There you go. Make it look like a big bolt. All right, Phil. You take this one, I'll take the next. Nice hand, Phil. Nice hand. So we're playing a congratulations on your I have seven dudes. Most everybody is Seven dudes. You don't have to. I think Richard took his seat. If I had it, uh, I bet uh, 25 to 50. Yes. If I had it, I'd bet too much. I'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I think you did bet too much. You call 3,000. I may have. I knew I you raised the 3,000, actually. Huh? I may have raised the 3,000. I knew you were drawing dead. You had to be dead. And so, I was dead. Yeah, you, you were drawing dead. No, I had the ace of clubs and a jack. I had the nut straight with the nut flush draw. So he has to be drawing dead. That's why I bet 1,500. I was greedy. And now Sonny, he might just move so in. And my, I my snap you, you didn't hit? Oh, wait. He did it but once. It like so you hit the flash on the Eleven hundred. Got to see no, Phil play ace king turn. again. The king of clubs was my gym. I only bet fifteen hundred, and I bet five thousand. I bet too much. I should have bet. I should have bet two thousand because then he. Uh, 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 then he might bluff. Yeah. Is it on me? No. Sir, is it on me? I forgotten Ben was here. Well, during the massage, which always unusually makes people more aggressive instead of less to me. During the massage, he took a lot of time off from the table, it seemed. Richard waiting for chips. I think I heard of him before. He's kind of famous, huh? Yeah, do that shit, Ben. You know me on a small scale. Suited. For Barry. Price went up. Six thousand eight hundred. Sixty-eight. Wow. Killing me. I'm gonna kill it one hand. Did you see that? Yeah, okay, so whoever whatever chatter recently said Phil was playing risk adverse poker. I should have had the right idea. <laughs> I, saw my, too when he I was bet thinking if you bet, bet like bet. anywhere between 15 to 3, you bet that I'll re-raise it, I take it away from it. Too, you. Don't do your, um, You're not going away. You don't do your line anymore? The pH? Hmm. Your, your line? Remember you used to have your own line? I, think. I, don't, I remember you used to wear the hat with the pH? Yeah, yeah, I have the, I wear that sometimes. You know I'm not scared I always wear my sponsor or something. I'm a big fan. You know I'm not scared of money. Well, I guess the massage has worn off. Time is it's getting close too, right? You know I'm not scared of money, right? Okay, so it's either everything or nothing here, Ben. Do I feel freaky today? I think it's safe to say if Barry folds, Ben will not show. Who's that little shit? How much is that? Thanks, though. I should have bet 2000 If you did bet 2000 I was going to re raise it. I probably would. To what? I'm gonna pick a spot, I know you're gonna, gonna do it again. The river. But then you bet half your stack. What am I doing? I can't do anything. Let's see a flop. I know you're gonna do it again. Let's see a flop. Let's see a flop. We all want to see a flop. That's speed. That's speed. No trade. No trade. You bet me. Check that. You bet the top fifty. Come on. Button is good. Oh, even the dog. What she said. Finally, we got somebody playing some poker. Took us, I don't know, four hours plus. The three bet with four deuce off. You should have seen what I just folded again. Yeah, we should have seen what just folded again. Impressive, Phil. You would have won the hand, Phil. Yeah, I mean, the U.S. Poker Open, I, I cut 12 days out of my schedule to go play those events, and I had a, and I had a shot, you know, I mean, I had, in the last, like, five days, I had two seconds and a four, three final tables, and in the main event, at 2 a.m. last night, less than 24 hours ago, I took some ridiculous beat uh, to finish 10th um, when they paid six, which allowed me then to grab a six o'clock flight in the morning to come here to L.A. to play with a bunch of really fun people. What was it like playing with these guys that you know, like Sonny, Otto, Wesley, another guy you didn't know, Mickey? Was just like... Yeah, Mickey was great. Uh, I, I, I really loved, I really loved, uh, I, I really loved 
for us. I loved his story. I mean, it was really cool. You know, it's important when you play these streams to ask people about themselves and their lives, and it makes it interesting for everybody to find out what they're doing. Ford, a phenomenal story. Uh, Auto, I played with a hundred times. Uh, Wesley, Wesley, I'm enjoying playing with. Uh, Wesley's kind of a new newcomer, um, and uh, you know, who knows? We'll invite him to our regular home game because he lives in the Bay Area. And uh, Sonny and I battle online, as you know, Ryan. We've had a lot of battles online, so it was nice to face off in person. It's different for them in person because they know that I'm looking at them and they know that I'm strong and, you know.